Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Let's talk about the rank function. It's a function in Excel which enables me to compare the position of a number in relation to other numbers. In the example I have seven students, they all have these various marks and I need to rank them highest to lowest. I want to see where they appear. In other words, I want Harry to be number one. Uh, number one. I want Susie to be number two. Uh, sorry, Mary to be number two. Susie to be number three, etc. Until we get down to Sue, who is um, uh, going to be uh, number seven in the rank. Now, the syntax I need to type into a cell is, or grammar is another word for syntax, equal rank, and then the cell that I want to uh, test against the others the range of the other cells and the format. Now the format can be either a zero or omitted so that the highest number in the group shows as a one and the other numbers show in a commensurate order. If I use one as the format then the highest number in the group would be in this case the number seven uh, and I'll show you the reason that sometimes that, that can be used. But first of all, let's type in a formula in this cell here. So equal rank, open a bracket, D4, comma, dollar D, dollar 4, to dollar D, dollar 10. And I'm using absolute cell references there because I want to copy this formula down, but always refer to the marks. So now when I press enter, I see that number 67 is the sixth highest number in the seven numbers here. Let's copy that formula down. And here I see that Harry is number one, uh, Mary is number two, Susie number three, etc. So it is not difficult to perform the, uh, the, uh, the function that's available to me, rank. Now, the reason that sometimes one is used as the third argument, and I'll put it in here, dollar one, and we'll press enter, and then we'll copy that formula down with the one, and now I see that Harry becomes number seven. In other words, he is the highest in the, in, in, in the marks. And the reason that that is uh, sometimes used is when conditional formatting is invoked, like this. I select the cells and if I go to conditional formatting and look at the data bars and I'll just insert this, these data bars, the gradient fills and click away, I now see that the uh, data bars will indicate to me the, the range uh, of, of numbers uh, in order of their size. So Harry, number seven, the highest, has the longest data bar. So it's just a visual representation of what can be uh, done with, uh, with, with ranking and conditional formatting. I'll remove the conditional formatting. Naturally, I could, uh, I could also chart these numbers if I wished, um, but for the sake of this exercise, uh, we just wanted to see how the ranking works. So remember, the syntax is down there, if I leave the format uh, out zero or, or omit it, uh, then I would see the highest number showing as a one. Hopefully you've learnt from this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. And we'll see you next time, guys and ladies.